how to test RS side with RCAX transmitter and receivers. When there is control problem of RCAX, such as short control range, signal loss, please test RS side. RS side or receive the signal strength indicator is a measurement of how well your receiver can hear a signal from the transmitter. So how to test RS side? I'll show it with RCAX transmitter and R8FG receiver. Turn on the transmitter and power on the receiver. And then the transmitter and receiver will be connected because I have already bound the receiver to the transmitter. So there is a signal tower. The signal tower appears on the upper right corner of the screen of RCAX, indicates that the bending is successful. Here it is. And if there is no signal tower on the screen, please bend the receiver to the transmitter until the signal tower appears on the screen. After successful bending RSSI, then it will appear on the screen. Telemetry RSSI. And then we can see the RSS value here. The RSSI value will keep changing according to the distance between the a transmitter and the receiver. Keep the receiver and transmitter at a fixed distance and then check the RSS value. The testing method is different when you use different receivers. If you are testing RSSI of receivers with dual antennas such as R8FG, R7FG, RAF, keep the two antennas at a 90 degree angle and make the receiver antenna and transmitter parallel. The receiver antenna can be placed like uh, this way or this way. Keep transmitter apart from receiver antenna about 60 centimeters and then check RSSI. It is normal that RSS value is within the range of 0 to minus 30 dBm when the distance between RCAX and dual antennas of the receiver is about 60 cm. The closer the value is to 0, the stronger the signal is. And if you are testing RSS of receivers with single antennas such as R6FG, R6F, R4FGM, R4F, R8EF, and make the receiver antenna and transmitter parallel. And keep transmitter apart from receiver antenna about 20 cm and then check RSSI. It is normal that RSSI value is within the range of 0 to minus 30 dBm when the distance between RCAX and single antenna receiver is about 20 cm and the closer the value is to zero, the stronger the signal is. The range of RSS value of returning transmitter is from 0 to minus 99 dBm. The larger the absolute value of the RSS value is, the weaker the signal is. For example, the signal when the RSS value is minus 80 dBm is weaker than the signal when the RSS value is minus 60 dBm. And uh, now in RSS means there is no signal transmission. And I am testing R8FG dual antenna receiver with RCAX. So I put it like this way, and the antenna is parallel to the transmitter. The distance is about 60 centimeters. And we can see the RSS value is about minus 20 dBm, which is within the range of 0 to 
minus 30 dBm, and the RSS value is stable. So there is no problem of signal transmission. And please note, if the RSS value is not within the range of 0 to minus 30 dBm in a specified distance, and there is something wrong with the signal transmission, please check whether the antennas of the receiver and transmitter are damaged, especially the transparent part in the top of the antenna. Here it is. Most of the signal degradation is caused by receiver antenna damage. If the receiver antenna is damaged, it needs to be replaced. And if there is no damage, you can test whether it is the failure of the transmitter or the receiver by replacing the receiver. And if there is no problem of RSS value and the antenna is not damaged, but the control range is short, there are some possible reasons for the problem. 1. Check installation of receiver. Do not get the receiver close to ESC, galvanometer, and metal or carbon fiber part of the model. 2. Check if there is any interference in the surrounding area, such as electricity substation, high voltage cable, or Wi-Fi nearby. 3. Check the placement of receiver antenna. Make sure the end of the receiver antenna protruded to the outside to avoid the signal being blocked by the frame of the model. It is best to keep the antenna of the receiver vertical to the ground or water to avoid the interference on the ground or water.